Hello, Leo. Hello, Internet. Hello, Zuckerberg. Nice to see you here as well this evening. After what you did last night. Um, I'm going to read a poem that Trish Crepo quotes from in her article in this week's Montague Reporter. Have you picked it up yet? It's online. Pick it up. Do it. And the poem I'm going to read tonight is partially determined by the fact that a stink bug fell off the ceiling under the laptop that I was teaching on, right on the question key. So I decided that I should read a poem that mentions a bug or nature. And uh, here is a nature poem that Trish quoted from in her article. Thanks again to her for that really sweet, wonderful write-up. And support the Montague Reporter. You already do, right? Okay. This is called How to Become One with Nature. Small birds don't live very long. Mayflies much shorter. A creek may lie fallow fifty years to wake one sated spring, rage wilder, wider than before. Sequoias seem forever till they aren't. Death dies different out here. Blue dollar hawk's perimeter sweep yields a house finch. No house, no heaven, no tears. The resurrected creek makes crinkly sounds, a kid feeling her Christmas present under the dying spruce, trying to guess before ripping it open. Thanks for listening. Um, this is my advanced reader's copy, which arrived in the mail today. Giving a shout out to our postal workers, heroes. And um, books available for pre-order at a discount until the 21st. And the one that you would receive at the 21st would be superior in all ways to the one I'm holding because this is just a dumb advanced reading. You can't even buy this. Go ahead, try to buy this. You can't. It's not for sale. Go ahead, try. You can't. It's not for sale. See, it says it right there. But the copy you can buy at the Freight Edge Press website, you can buy. And you can buy it at a substantial discount. You should. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody's surviving, thriving making the best of what we're dealing with. Have a good night.